This is a short guide for faculty department chairs and deans who are planning for new online instructors to develop and teach online courses. The main vehicle that we have at PCC for helping new instructors to develop and teach online courses is this program that we call the Flexible OIO. OIO stands for Online Instructor Orientation. And this is our required orientation for all new online instructors. There is one part of the flexible OIO that is not flexible or that is inflexible, and that is something that we call the FOOT, which is a short two-week class. FOOT stands for Fundamentals of Online Teaching. So if you are a faculty department chair or a dean, the one point in the term that you want to focus your attention on is week five of the term. I've got a little timeline here drawn, and I want to simply show you on the timeline where some of these will fit. I'm going to start in spring term because it's spring term now when I'm making this video. So the reason you want to be focused on week five of the term is because that's the last day to enroll an instructor in the foot class. The foot class takes place during weeks seven and nine of every term. And then the thing you'll want to be thinking about in terms of your instructor and the timing is that the foot class takes place during week seven and nine, and then the rest of the OIO, which is somewhat flexible, takes place at the end of that term into the beginning of the next term. So maybe weeks three or four of the next term, possibly five, that that OIO will be finished, and then the instructor will be considered trained and able to develop an online course. Now, in the best case scenario, the instructor will be working with a course that is fully developed, fully reviewed, and the instructor will just have to modify small parts of that course to prepare it to teach online. So the instructor could actually do that development right here at the end of the next term and then teach the course in fall term. So basically, you need to plan a, a, a term and a half to enroll that instructor into training, to finish training, to develop the course, and then to teach. Now, if you want the instructor to develop a brand new online course, that's a course that's never been, that's the, that the instructor has never taught online before, you need to allow some more time. And in order to do that, you're going to have to extend the development time into the next term because week seven of the following term is when the course review is going to take place. So the instructor has, from the end of training in the subsequent term, to week seven of the following term to get that course ready to be developed. There's a review that takes place in here, and then the teaching will take place in that term. So rule of thumb, term and a half to take over a course for a new instructor who needs training two and a half terms to train and develop a new online course. If you just keep those times in mind, but always remember that week five of the term is the time that you want to be focused on, that's really your deadline, you should be fine and your instructors should be well prepared to teach online.